Hoskin and music teacher Harry Steiner. As they come on, it should be interesting to note that Talmud Torah is celebrating its 100th anniversary this year and is in fact the oldest continually running Jewish day school in Canada. Here in Edmonton. saving anybody who's a native Canadian or a Winnipegger or Edmontonian's presence, 10 years in this cold is more than enough. Um, thank you, Larry, and I just want to remind people that if the, when the uh, masks come down, please cover your own face before you cover the faces of your children. With all the hand signals, I'm sorry, it's sort of missed. If it came right after your hand signals to each direction, it would work better. But thank you. And um, your worship, every um, city councilors, colleagues, it's a great pleasure to be here on behalf of the Phoenix and the Edmonton Interface Center to talk about Hanukkah. And as Larry was introducing the mayor, I was thinking about the mayor's title, which has always amused me, which is your worship. 
and to some degree that's quite apropos to Hanukkah, which is quite an unimportant holiday in the Jewish calendar as opposed to the Eid or Christmas, which are central observances in Islam and Christianity. But Hanukkah is relatively unimportant, but its messages do resonate both for today and for the past, which is something I want to talk about briefly this afternoon. So I was thinking about this idea of your worship, and, and I believe, and I think this is true, that any time you have a human being that you set up, and this is saving the better presence who I respect quite a lot, but anybody, when you set up somebody to be worshipped, then something becomes dangerous, and we start losing sight of differences, and we start focusing on enforced commonalities, if you will. And Hanukkah is all about someone who thought he should be worshipped. The king of the Syrian Greeks, Antiochus Epiphanes, decided that as a way of uniting his empire, making everyone the same, Hellenistic Greeks, that it would be ideal if everybody worshipped him in the guise of the Olympian Zeus. That made a lot of people unhappy and ultimately led to a rebellion which, in which the Greeks were chased out of Judea and independence was briefly reestablished and the temple was rededicated. And Hanukkah is a celebration of that rededication. Now we do talk of a miracle of, eight, of a light of oil that lasted eight days, a very late story, but it gives us an idea of the meaning of Hanukkah, which is an idea about light. It's an idea about light that the, all the differences, all the different traditions, all the different peoples that in the world, each one has their light that's special and unique, something that can be offered and really shared with and respected by all, it needs to be. And the message of Hanukkah is not to let those individual lights go out, but for each community to remain distinctive, to retain its traditions and its ideas, and yet be part of a hall. So the, uh, the eight nights of Hanukkah, last night we lit eight candles, and each candle is important, and each candle forms a part of the whole Hanukkiah, the whole Hanukkah menorah, and brings them together and unites them. Just so I think all of the different communities that we have here in Edmonton are important and distinct, and together we form a stronger city here in Edmonton, a stronger community. And it's great to see here people from Christians, Muslim, Jews, Sikhs, there may even be Hindus and many other religions as well. And it's great to see you all and that we're all celebrating together this time of year while reminding ourselves that no, we're not all the same. We all bring special uniquenesses to the table and each of those things that make us unique make us stronger. With choreographer Anik McKellick and artistic director Sari Oretsky. My name is not Sam. 